Hi my sweet friends, welcome back. Okay, so today we will be doing some crafts together, so let's get started. Hi my sweet friends, welcome back. So today we are going to do recycled cardboard tags. I have been saving cookie boxes, cracker boxes, cereal boxes. I save them all because you can use them in your crafts. Normally, I would throw in the recycling and think that you can't use it anymore and upcycle it to use in my future junk journal. So, stay tuned! Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is gesso, and I'm just going to gesso both sides of all of them. So that's what we're going to do, and I'll be fast forwarding through this part because it's very simple and easy. Just gesso, let them dry. Okay, so if they curl up, definitely don't worry about it because they w we are not finished with them and it will definitely re-flatten out. So I have all of them done on one side with one coat and I'm not really careful or care if there's a little scratch or they're not perfect because we are far from done with them. So all I'm going to do now is start the backs and do the same thing. So, now I have them and they're not perfect, which is fine. I just wanted to do a quick coat just to get something on there. So now what I've dug out is I have some inks that I'm going to spray and I'm going to spray all the sides that have the wording on it and do like a background. So I have black, I have purple, I have red, yellow. So I'm just going to start spraying. This one is a dauber, so we're just going to Put some purple. Just like that. We have some yellow. Trying to get it started. I might have to clean that one out. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got all the colors working now. And there's no right or wrong way. I just want to make, you know, put some color in the background. So, I'm just going to spray that. This is red. And now, 
I've got this black here. And I'm just gonna get the black to move by tapping and moving the card. And now we're going to put some gold. And that's enough there. And again, just tap. And I'd say that this one is pretty much done. It's just a background. And I have some colors on the table. So I'm just going to take one of the round tags I have and just lay it down. and pull some of the colors up. I'm going to drop some purple on there. Oops. We're just going to tap this around, get the color to move. Just like that. And that one is good. So I'm just going to fast forward and just do a few of these and let you see what I'm doing on this stage of the tags. We're just building up background.
guys. So the tags are dry. And what I'm going to do is poke a hole in each one. I could not find my quick hole punch, so I'm going to use my crocodile that I have. And then I'm going to be putting the eyelets in once I poke the holes. So that's what part I'm at with the tags now. And once that's done, I'll do the top sides here, the corners up here. And then you can just decorate them as you go or whatever you want. You can leave them how they are if you want. It's all up to you because they're already... And on the back, it looks like this. And you can write on the back, so it's always good to be placed in the junk journal. This doesn't have to be perfect either. You can just put the hole anywhere you want. So, I'm just going to poke holes into them. And then I'll be back. Okay, so now all you're going to do is take one of your eyelets and then just pop it into the hole and then put it on the machine. So they all have a little tiny hole inside at the top here and you're just going to pop in your eyelet into the hole. Just like that. And now it's in the hole, but it's not squished down yet to be held in. So you're going to do that with the machine. And I did a few of them just to show you that they're done. And then all I'm going to do is slide it onto the machine. Pull this forward. And then just push down. Get it in place. So now... Oops. It is on there, it's not going anywhere, and it's not going to rip as easy and break. So I'm just going to do that to all of them. Just line it up. It doesn't take a lot of pressure, and that's what the back looks like. It just curls it up at the back. Okay, so all the eyelets are in, they're all done. So now what you want to do, you can leave them like this or you can take your corner punch and just put it in and snip off the, the corners. like that and now it's looking like a real tag and then I have some string and when you get them put together this is just a little tag I had made you can just put some uh, wool or string or ribbon whatever it is you want at the top and you have a tag now like I had said earlier you can decorate this you can leave it the way it is whatever you want so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get them all ready and as I do the book I have die cuts in different shapes and different stuff I will just build a tag as I go so this is how I took junk boxes that I had from cookies and such and made them into tags for the junk journal at least we are recycling and you can't even tell that that's what they were so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe please hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time i do an upload and i will see you guys on the next video bye everyone